Hello and welcome to a video from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. This video is part of a series. There is a link to the full playlist in the description of this video, as well as a link to all the example code that goes along with this video and other videos. Today we're going to be creating a very simple third-person camera in Doom. Uh, if you go to the GitLab page, go to examples, and then scroll down to camera third person, that's what we're working with today. I've copied that code into this directory. So let's go ahead and step through it. Uh, we're going to first look at our zscript.zsc. Again, this is just saying what version of zscript we're using. And then it's saying to include our cam script file. And inside our cam script file, I've already have the code there, but we're gonna walk through it. I did get this example code from this forum. Someone posted it. It's a very simple, third person cameras are very hard. This camera will clip through walls and stuff like that, but I just wanna get you guys the basic concept and break it down for you on what we're doing. So first thing we need to do is create a new player. We're gonna call it camera player. It's a Doom player. Since we're creating a new Doom player, we do need to create a map info file that says that we have a class, of, a player class of whatever we named it, in this case, the camera player. Of course, you can call it whatever you'd like. So we're creating a new Doom player and we're setting it to load in the game. Then we're gonna create an, or have an actor. So save the camera actor to a pointer, okay? Uh, so this is a variable that we're going to eventually put this back camera into. So this is just a, we're calling this back camera. It's an actor that has no gravity and no block map. And then here, we're just going to tick. So a tick is throughout the game, there's constant ticks that count as the game goes. I believe it's 35 a second. So there's 35 of these a second. And since we're not in a world event handler, we're saying super tick. This makes sure that we stay in line with the ticks of the game. Next, we're going to check. So this is gonna happen 35 times a second if your game is running properly. Uh, and we're gonna check, okay, if the camera does not exist, we are going to create the camera. So we created the variable here, but we didn't put anything into it. It's an empty actor right now. Here we're saying, if it does not exist, since this is looping, you need to check to make sure it exists. Otherwise it's going to be creating a whole bunch of them. Okay, if it does not exist, we are going to spawn one. Where are we gonna spawn? Back camera, what's the back camera? Well, that's the object right down here. So this and this just have to be the same thing. You can call it whatever you'd like, but it's gotta be the same there and there, okay? Next, we're going to set the camera. This is saying, we're gonna set whatever that you're looking at to this camera, because you can have multiple cameras if you want, right? Here we're saying, set the camera to the camera object we just created. And again, it's checking that over and over again. Next, we need to position that camera. So we're gonna take the camera and we're gonna run the warp function on it. I have links in here. You can go to this link in your web browser and it will explain the warp function to you. But the first thing you're doing is setting where it's warping to. So we're saying self. So we have a player, we're moving the camera to that player. And then we're gonna set an offset. We're gonna say negative 128 for uh, the pitch. Uh, zero for X, the height is going to be height divided by two plus uh, 64 times sin, uh, sine and pinch, a pitch. <laughs> Again, this is all math. Tweak these numbers to get it how you like. If you want the camera closer or further away or to turn differently, those are what you do. And then we have some variables here, again, that are all explained in this link here. So look at those, you explain it, you can say, you know, with the warp, or no check position, copy pitch, uh, interpolate. So it's, it's, they're variables that are preset on certain ways the camera will act. Uh, but with that, let's go ahead and see what it does. So we're in this directory. Again, we're running GZ Doom dash file. This could be a PK3 file. If you created one just by zipping up this directory, I went over that in a previous video. We're just saying dot to say it, look at the current directory. This is all you need to run this, but I'm also telling it basically here to play Doom 2 so it doesn't ask me when I start and warp straight to level one so we don't have to go to the menu. And when we do that, we get a camera that is in third person. Again, it's gonna clip through walls. It's not perfect, but you can look up and down and you have the third person view. Again, you can get more detail with this. I'm sure there's uh, better examples out there, but I was trying to keep it as simple as possible so you can play around with this. Uh, in future videos, we're gonna do other simple things with the camera, basically using the, certain the same code we have now, but linking it in different ways and positioning it different for side views or monster views. So that's it again. You can set, play around with the numbers, download this code or rewrite it yourself is also a great option. But in here, tweak these numbers, this negative 128, 
or this height. Maybe get rid of the math equation and just put in a, a, a solid number, right? So maybe you want the camera to not pivot around the player, but to lock in right behind it at a certain height or to the side. So play around with those numbers. And, and that's what that's how you learn coding. Uh, one of the great ways is just taking example code you know it works and messing with the numbers and seeing what they each do. Again, for more information on the warp function, which is the big part of this, go to this that that is in the comments on the project when you go into the example code here. See, it says it right there. And if you were to go there, it will give you more information on all those parameters. It tells you right here which each parameter is, and then it gives you what those parameters are in more uh, detail. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. Again, you can search through all my videos there. I have hundreds of them. A lot to do with Doom modding, but also a lot of other topics. And you can also go to my GitLab page where you can get all the example codes. Links in the description to everything. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. I would love to see what you create with Zscript. Have a great day.